different reasons. I'm Lloyd, Lloyd in Lemuela, and I was born in Limpopo in Pilavila. For those who follow the news, you know the Pala Pala stories. I stay around the age, so we are famous. Um, guys, when I was 13, I was purposefully, deliberately set on fire, and I was in grade 8 at the age of 13 in 2010, just after FIFA World Cup. It was a planned thing to kill 17 school children. There are very nasty people out there. We watch things in movies and then it happened to me and I was like, oh, okay, this movie's actually happening in reality. This man trapped us between the electric fence and it was horrible. I thought my dreams were forfeited. I will never be anything because society has excluded me in so many cases. I was admitted at Milabila um, Hospital. It was in July the 13th, 2010. So it marks 12 years anniversary because I'm a fighter and a survivor and I'm, I'm really grateful to be alive and to be here today. In every weekend there was a funeral, some parents lost their only two kids. So you guys, when you grow up, please have many kids, because things <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking, guys. Kids are very expensive. But now it's said those parents only had two kids, and they had to bury both of them in one day because of somebody's hatred. And those ten kids, my younger sister also passed away. She was only nine old and I didn't get to see her or bury her because I was in a critical condition. I was also transferred to Mount Pen Hospital where I had my wounds ripped off, you know. And when I got burned, I was so dark like you know, school shoes, you know those toughest. <laughs> yeah, I was like that. It was bad guys. It was bad. I find it funny now because I'm healed. So you can laugh. You can laugh. I remember when they had to when they had to clean my wounds, when they were cutting off the clothes that I got burnt in, and my skin was also coming off. And at that moment I just wanted to die. I didn't see the reason to leave. Because it was painful, I was young, I didn't understand anything. Why would a man do this to me? So to men guys, please don't ever abuse a woman. And this don't hit any woman. You know? Everything was just 
going south. You wait for your mom to come and bath you, change your bandages. You look at yourself in the mirror. Last time you saw yourself, you had, you know, glowing skin. Girls, you were glowing, and then now your face is covered with scars. It's a transformation that you can never understand. Until guys, God sent me into Houdin. I came to a hospital at Helen Joseph Hospital. That was at the end of 2011 because I didn't get any surgery done in like that. There was no any doctor who could possibly fix my hands. That's how bad they were. I couldn't write and I couldn't walk. So right now, and I was back to my parents. So now my life is just about hospital and people shaming me, discriminating me, laughing at me. Imagine walking and being cold where you look like a chicken dust. How many of you like chicken dust? Chicken feet. Chicken feet. They call me that, guys. And sometimes I cry, but I learn to accept myself because no one, no one in this world talks about something that is not attractive. So I realize that, that my scars actually are taken to scars. Everything. They bought me 
full uniform, 